imposter syndrome deep divers is like turning up to a wedding that you think you've been invited to, but they didn't, they didn't actually invite you. They invited your parents, but you are convinced they invited you and you are checking the guest list, like going over it, like the fine details of everybody's name and surname, and you still don't see yours there. And you are like, something must be wrong. And they tell you, so sorry, you weren't invited, but you got dressed. They don't want to disappoint you. They're like, hey, come inside, take a seat. So you take a seat and you are sitting in someone else's place. They arrive and they're like, what are you doing in my, in my place, in my seat? And so you've got to stand up. Then you realize everybody is sitting down and you are the only one standing up. They come to you. They're like, hey, there is one seat just for you. But guess what, deep divers? It is right at the back. So you go to the back and then you find yourself sitting all alone with a table in front of you and you feel like an imposter. Ah! <laughs> Peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers, we are out here in nature, baby. I hope your day is going good. I hope you don't feel like an imposter, deep divers. We're just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. I'm sending you tons of good ass energy. Take that, take that, take that. Deep divers, how to overcome imposter syndrome like a lot of people have been writing to me about imposter syndrome ralph i think i've got imposter syndrome and this is so common like so many of us have imposter syndrome at different times in our lives i've had it i've had it before deep divers i thought i was an true imposter but then the cat down the road reminded me like ralph no you belong here thank you cat down the road Brings a tear to my eye. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> so wonderful deep divers. Let me share with you what's helped me along my journey to overcome imposter syndrome. Now, what is imposter syndrome? As a psychologist, it is this simplified. The feeling of unworthiness. You feel undeserving you don't feel like you belong somewhere you don't think that you should have got it you don't think that you should be where you are with what you have you feel like an alien out of place you feel like everybody else is normal and you are abnormal, okay? I've experienced that deep divers, okay? I felt like an imposter for a long time. But what really helped me to overcome this imposter syndrome was to realize that it is my divine right to be anywhere on this planet. Mm. What? Slow motion this side, mm. like deep divers. I don't see any borders, do you? Like all the borders are man-made, okay? Many of us, we have this imposter syndrome because we still feel that we have to ask someone else's, we have to ask someone else for permission to be at a certain place. I know it is my divine right to be anywhere on this planet. I can be in Jamaica, in London, in Ethiopia, in Nigeria, in Colombia, in Spain, and I can feel at peace. Why? Because this earth belongs to nobody. Oh, baby. Like, I remember deep divers 
traveling all around South America. I went to Brazil and at that time I wasn't speaking Portuguese. Now I speak fluent Portuguese. Everyone's in a bar because I'm with friends and everyone is speaking Portuguese. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel like such an imposter. I shouldn't be here, right? <laughs> then I'm like thinking back on it. Actually, it's my divine right to be anywhere. I am worthy to sit across from you. I am worthy to be in your presence. Ever been to someone's graduation deep dives and you're like, wait a minute, I didn't even go to university and everyone is celebrating and, and you're like, oh my gosh, I feel like such an imposter. Everyone is so smart around here. Well, deep divers, you have something that they don't have. You see, that's how to overcome <laughs> the imposter syndrome. Find something, <laughs> find something that you have that other people don't have. Learn how to celebrate yourself today. Learn how to find your uniqueness today. Like deep divers, did you know I'm a free line skater? So there are skateboarders and there are free line skaters. I've been free line skating for over a decade and I actually teach it. Now, when I'm like around a lot of rollerbladers who are doing fancy tricks, I'm like, before I used to feel like an imposter, but I'm, I'm like, wait a minute, let me bring out my free line skates, bust some moves, oh baby. I feel right at home. Can I get a hello? <laughs> Imposter syndrome emanates because you feel inadequate. You feel that you lack something, that everybody has it all figured out and you are the only one who hasn't figured it out yet. Deep divers, I'm a multi-dimensional being having a human experience, but I'm having a human experience. So is everybody else on this planet. And what does it mean to be human? It means to be humane. It means to feel something. You see, deep divers, we all share similar emotions, which is the energy in motion. We all feel angry sometimes. We cry. We feel, we feel full of joy, okay, ecstatic, excited, depressed, and anxious. Like we go through these emotions the range of emotions. This is what it means to be human, to experience a range of emotions, energy in motion. So when you start to realize that, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm not the only one experiencing these emotions. You see, to overcome imposter syndrome, you have to stop being so egocentric, stop feeling like the whole world revolves around you and realize that, hey, what you are going through, someone out there is also going through. They are just expressing it in a different way. So never feel that your experiences are exclusive to you. They are unique to you, but other people have gone through similar experiences, traumatic experiences. Nobody has had it easy on this planet. Everybody you see, deep divers, has experienced some kind of trauma. So this compassion I carry around with me has helped me to overcome imposter syndrome. Because I realize that when I talk to people, I'm talking to people who have been traumatized in this matrix, damaged in this matrix, broken in this matrix. We all are recovering from our past trauma. Now, deep divers, don't you feel good right now to realize that, hey, everybody has gone through something you know nothing about. And if you were to know about it, it would change your entire perception of who that person was. You see, in our society, we only show people the highlights, right? On these social media apps, everybody shows you like, hey, 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 everybody's having a good time. And this is where imposter syndrome begins, okay? It starts at school, actually. Now, deep divers, I went to a school where you had the popular crowd, the nerds, the rejects, and the invisibles, okay? 
I was actually in every single group because I'm a chameleon. Plus, I'm a Pisces. I get on with everyone. And I'm always rooting for the underdog. Now, the popular crowd in school deep divers, this is where imposter syndrome begins. When you feel inadequate, unworthy, not welcome. You don't belong, okay? Now, the popular crowd in school, what happens? People aspire to be in that group, the in crowd, because they are trendy. So everybody is trying to get to the popular crowd. And if they're not in the popular group, they feel like left out. And if they just happen to be in a room with a popular group, they feel like an imposter because they feel like they don't have anything to offer the popular group who have everything. What could I possibly offer? Well, deep divers, what you got to realize is that everybody bleeds red. Even the cat down the road, okay? Blood is very sacred, by the way. It's the life force energy. Everybody bleeds red, deep divers. So you got to realize that we are so similar. This is how to overcome imposter syndrome. Deep divers, nobody, nobody, nobody is getting out of here alive. Oh my gosh, Ralph. Yes, that is how to overcome imposter syndrome. We are living in a flash of light. Therefore, when you start to realize, oh, I get it. Only human, right? I'm only human. And I'm multidimensional at the same time, but I'm having this human experience and I know what it means to be human. It means to realize that we are very tiny, a tiny speck compared to the grand universe. So it humbles me. And when I see someone else, I'm like, they are also a tiny speck, just like me, right? So I start to see what we have more in, I start to see that we have more in common than things that are not in common, right? We have more in common than things that are uncommon. So you have to realize, always find what links you to someone else. That's how to overcome imposter syndrome. Realize people are just like you. Deep diver, spoiler alert, everybody took a shit today. No, they didn't, Ralph. Well, they will. No, they won't. Okay, tomorrow they will. And if they don't, they better see a doctor. <laughs> you see, deep divers, let's get blunt. Everybody took a shit. Now, you can paint yourself to be your grand, but everybody has to squat or sit down to take a dump. Now, how glamorous is that? It's not glamorous, deep divers. You see, this is the side nobody shows you of them, right? You don't get people taking selfies on the toilet seat, right? Well, deep divers, you've got to imagine people on the toilet seat. That's how to overcome imposter syndrome. Now... <laughs> Deep divers, we all have flaws, or what I call perfect imperfections. Start realizing that everybody you see has a flaw, okay? Everybody you see has an ingrowing toenail or something, okay? They've got a hairy back or something. They've got something which they're hiding from you. They're concealing from you. That's how to overcome imposter syndrome. Start realizing that nobody is perfect. We only have perfect imperfections. So to overcome imposter syndrome, stop living according to other people's standards and only create and live by your own standards. Now, when we talk of imposter syndrome, why do so many people have imposter syndrome in this matrix, in this modern day world? Because a lot of people think everybody is living the good life. Because if you were just to stay on social media, which so many people are, hours upon end, you would think that everybody's life is absolutely perfect. Perfect people don't exist, deep divers. Mm. 
nor the perfect lifestyles. Slow motion this side. Mm. All you are seeing are highlight reels, okay? You're just seeing the best, but you're not seeing the worst. To overcome imposter syndrome, realize that just as you have insecurities, ladies have insecurities, fellas have insecurities, mothers have insecurities, fathers have insecurities, aunties have insecurities, uncles have insecurities, and even cats have insecurities. Well, the cat down the road does deep divers anyway, right? So now all of a sudden you don't feel left out. Imposter syndrome emanates from the feeling of feeling like, hey, you're being left out, you're being left behind. When no deep divers, you aren't being left behind and you aren't the only one who sometimes wakes up and starts to doubt yourself and looks in the mirror and says, oh, I'm not, I'm not pretty enough, right? I'm not pretty enough. I'm not handsome enough. I'm not rich enough. We all have these insecurities which are perfectly natural. This is what makes us human, okay? So really learn how to connect with the human element of who you are and let go of shame. Keyword shame. The reason why a lot of people have imposter syndrome is because of shame. They don't feel like they deserve to be here or they belong here because of shame. Okay, so learn that shame only comes when you feel like you are below somebody else. And you can only feel below somebody else when you compare yourself to somebody else. Comparison is the greatest thief of joy. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. There is no perfect way to do something. There is no perfect path to take. There is no perfect journey to travel upon. You have to find what works for you and you have to love your uniqueness. Deep divers to overcome imposter syndrome. Realize that nobody actually knows what they're doing. I certainly do. I certainly don't. Okay. I certainly don't. I'm just making this up as I go along. Now, deep divers, all of this is made up. That's why Shakespeare said the whole world is a stage, okay? That building wasn't there 20 years ago. It just got built, right? So you're starting to realize that, hey, everybody is just improvising. Ultimately, like the great Alan Watts would say, there is nothing to do. But we spend our entire lives thinking there is something more complicated to do than just being. No, all we have to do is just to be, right? <laughs> To overcome imposter syndrome, deep divers, learn how to respect other people's uniqueness without trying to be them. Seven day vegan challenge. I meet a lot of people who are raw foodists. I'm like, I'm not a raw foodist, but I respect you. I don't want to be you though, because I'm happy just eating plant-based and eating cooked food. This works for me. I don't want to be anybody else. You see, that's how to overcome imposter syndrome. Love the foods you are putting into your mouth, whatever you are eating, love it. If it's working for you, that's fantastic. At the same time, respect other people's food choices and other people's different ways to live. How deep divers to overcome imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome. So we've said People are just like you. People pick their noses deep divers in the car. Like, oh, they pick their nose deep divers. They spit on the ground. They do all kinds of terrible things, right? <laughs> no, people just do stuff which is very primal. And we have to start to realize this is also part of being human. When no one's around deep divers, who are you? Who are they? Someone totally different than the person you know, okay? So realize that people are just like you behind closed doors, okay? Stop analyzing. Analysis is paralysis. The moment I stopped analyzing everyone, what they were doing, how they were doing it, 
I finally learned how to let go, and that's how to overcome imposter syndrome. There is no standard deep divers. And imposter syndrome begins to disappear when you don't mind making an ass out of yourself. When you're like, hey, the whole world is my stage. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, right? <laughs> I'm scared to go on stage, Ralph. I feel like an imposter. That was me, deep divers. I took theater studies, okay? Having flashbacks right now. I was ashamed to be on stage sometimes because I'm like, hey, I haven't learned my lines, right? <laughs> when we are ill-prepared for something, we usually develop imposter syndrome. So therefore, to overcome imposter syndrome, become thorough, in your craft or master your craft or develop a skill okay become confident in what you do and the life you live be happy with yourself today love all of yourself not just the highlights all of yourself including those shadows deep divers if you have imposter syndrome i'm here to tell you it's okay i get it too sometimes but then I'm like, wait a minute, everyone took a shit today. I'm not going to look up to anybody today or down to anybody. I'm going to see them eye level, okay? Just see people eye level deep divers. We are all so similar, okay? And that's why we're all just saying, Feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? <laughs> Beautiful deep divers. We're just, woo. Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Shout out to everybody who's been rocking and getting the amazing good ass prana shirts at ralphsmart.com slash close. D Divers. If you've got a question for me, add me on Instagram at Infinite Waters and the model searches on. You are a sexy ass model. Whoa! With a lot of heart. DM me on Instagram, at Infinite Waters. I like this one, Ralph. Are you an imposter? Deep Divers! Check out the new book for more information like this. Feel Alive by Ralph Smart on Amazon. Have a beautiful day, Deep Divers. Peace. Infinite Waters. Diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace. You. No imposters around here. No, because everybody is welcome, deep divers. Oh, yes, it's sweet. Peace.